Hi YouTube. Um, it's Sunday and it's a beautiful day today. Um, I wanted to go over protection and how do we get protection? Yesterday I, or whenever, I made a video about having the oil of our people, the olive oil. And why would this protect you? Why? Because you are doing it out of obedience and you know what is in the Word of God. So you're showing your obedience, but there, there are other things that I want to tell you about. And we have to go to the book of Job. Now, Job was a righteous man. He put God in front of everything he had, and God richly blessed him. But, now Satan, this was before the death on the cross of Jesus. And I got a bug over here. Oof. Anyway, this is before, and Satan was allowed to traverse the earth. And uh, so this is where it begins in Job chapter 1, verse 6. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came along with them. So the angels, they were going around and... The Lord said unto Satan, Whence come thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. Influencing people. And the Lord said unto Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job? That there is none like him in the earth? A perfect and upright man, one that feareth God? and escheweth evil. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for naught? Has not thou made an hedge about him and about his house and about all that he hath on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands and his substance is increased in the hand. But put forth thine hand now, and touch all that he hath, and he will curse thee to thy face. So this is a test. God saying, what about Job? You know, you got all these other people, but you can't seem to get a hold of my, my, my guy, Job. And I, he's like, okay. But, you know, the only reason why he, he praises your name is because you give him all this. You put a hedge of protection around him. And I just want to say, with the olive oil, you can do the same thing, okay? You can go along your property. You can, you know, do it however far that you want protecting yourself, okay? So you just go along your property, you, you know, you anoint the property, you heal it from past wounds. There, you know, if you buy a house and you just move in, there might be evilness in there when you buy it, you know, like these haunted houses and things. And People don't clear their homes anymore. The, the, like I said, the churches have taken out the power of God and making it null and void with all their traditions that they speak. And Satan has come into the pulpit. Okay, so the only thing that you're going to get out of a lot of these churches is music in John 3.16, and yet we have no idea what we're being saved from. So there is truth. God does put a hedge of protection around you, but 
Job was an uprighteous man and he put God first. So all good things come from God. All bad and calamity comes from Satan. So now I uh, wanted to say something that happened to me. When I was growing up, um, I was put into the foster care system when I was two, me and my siblings. And uh, then we were separated from our siblings, my sister and I. And uh, they moved into the home and we were left in, in the foster care home. And it was a terrible place, although there were people, the social workers and everything coming in, it, it was terrible. We were being literally starved to death. And so there just came a day when they saw that we were, lost so much weight that it was like they had to take us out in an emergency. So we were taken over to the people that adopted my, my brothers and sisters until we found a placement. And then after we went into that home that we were placed in, that we were supposed to be adopted, we were placed into another home. But what I want to mention is that the first place we were in we were starved and beaten. We were neglected. We had no clothes, um, no food. The only thing we had was a bed. The next thing, we were put into a rich home and we had all the food that we wanted, but we were sexually assaulted. And then the third home we were put in, all of that, so what I'm trying to say is we are put here for a test. Some of us are tested more than others. And God knows who you are because everyone was created in the first earth age. And depending on what you did in that first earth age corresponds to what happens to you now. And, uh, Every uh, elect, very elect that I know, and the reason why I know they're very elect is because I was shown them, okay? But every one of them had a very, very traumatic childhood. This is like Job trying to destroy you. I mean, Satan was trying to destroy the bloodline that Christ would come through. You know, I mean, this is a battle that has been going on and on and on. Anyway, so God protects his own, as you, as Job states, you know, this, there's a hedge of protection around us. Um, all good things come from God and all evil calamity comes from Satan. So, you know such as the countenance of a person. When you're discerning spirits, that is discerning spirits, whether this is a good person or a bad person. If this person is being influenced by evil spirits, even Satan's very own evil spirit. Because right now, okay, after um, Christ died on the cross, Satan was locked up in paradise, and there he accuses everybody night and day, okay? But his evil spirit can traverse the earth now, just as the Holy Spirit traverses the earth. So for every good, there's an evil, there's an equal balance. So you have to know, you have to look, you have to discern, and you have to ask God for your protection. So now as we grew older, there was a lot of 
weirdness in our life. Not only were we attacked um, physically, we were attacked spiritually. And I don't really talk about this much, but my sister and I and my older brother witnessed a fleet of UFOs, okay? My parents had, basically, they took the other kids into town. We lived way out in no man's land. And I know this sounds really weird, but people are going to catch up. And it's coming very close to that. And that's why I'm talking about it now. But we saw this thing fly over. I first saw the shadow of it. And then it had this strange energy around it. It just, it came back and it hovered over us. I was looking up, it had a big black bottom to it. It's like black is black. It was it was terrible. And in one of my videos, I was telling you about God's transportation versus Satan's transportation. Okay, I'm telling you the difference now. These things look nothing. They don't have that wheel that spins around it. They use the electromagnetics from the earth. Okay. So now I had no idea what they were. My brother did. He had been visited before. That big thing, it was about 150 feet long. It was huge. It went and landed down in the field by the pond. And that's kind of an interesting thing too because I have heard that these UFOs like water, but I don't know. Just, just kind of putting that in there. Anyway, a legion of these gray aliens, and I don't believe that they're aliens per se. I believe that these are demonic spirits. Are there some sort of thing created and the demonics inhabit them? Anyway, they came right up to us and two of them spoke to us. My brother was hiding and he yelled out, Say in the name of Jesus Christ, command them to go away. You cannot think it. You have to say it. And, uh, so I tested it. I was like thinking, okay. And they were in my brain. They were in my mind. They could not speak words. They were in my brain, which is the assault that's happening today with people in the um, voice to skull. And it's real, okay? It's real. Somehow they're able to do this. Spiritually, they get connected with you. Okay, so I thought the words and nothing happened. And then I spoke it. And I said, in the name of Jesus, I command you to leave. And they looked at me like, what? Like I betrayed them. And they kind of looked at each other and then... I said again, in the name of Jesus, I command you to leave. And they're like, whoa, she really means this. It, there's a good lesson in this. And then I said it a third time. Words are power, okay? This, the Holy Spirit in you gives you power, okay? It is not you, it is the Holy Spirit, the words you speak, what is in your mind, your fruit. They had to leave. The whole brigade left, okay? 
they came back when I was a, about 22 and I was going to college and I was living at my dad's house, that old creepy house. And I was sleeping, but I woke up because I kept hearing some noise that was on the roof and it sounded like something was like rattling the door knob. And I'm like, what is that? You know, and I was like, okay, my dad had already gone to work and I was the only one home. I thought, well, I have some time, I can go back to sleep. And so I just kind of laid there and then I felt my body rise, physically rise, and I went up. Remember what I was telling you about um, when Lurch took me up to paradise first time and you hear that boo, boo, boo. It's the same kind of power that they're, these evil entities are using some sort of energy that breaks like into a portal, opening up where you go up. Physically, you can go up. Anyway, I was put on this slab, this rock slab, and I was literally tied down. I could not move. And I was looking around and I tried to speak the words in the name of Jesus, I command you to leave, but it would not come out. They had this power and I got mad. Okay, I'm like, uh-uh, this is not going to happen. And I saw that the creepy tall one coming towards me like, I'm going to get you. And I'm like, mm-mm. So I just, I fought with all, everything that I had. And I said, Jesus, help me. I said, in the name, and I had to, like, force these words out. In the name of Jesus, I command you to leave. And as soon as I got those words out, I'm just saying, I thought they were going to leave. No, it was me. It was like I was cast thrown down and I was spiraling down and I hit my bed with a bounce and I'm just I mean I literally bounced anyway after that I have never been bothered by them so you have to claim you have to have Christ over your head you have to know that it is not you but it is the power of God Okay, so all these stalkers, all these people are being influenced by the evil one. And evil is rampant these days. It's everywhere you go. And it's in the movies. It's in the churches. It's everywhere. Society is changing fast and there are very few true believers, people who put God first, who count on him, who read his word, meditate on it, and let, allow their, Holy, their spirit with the Holy Spirit to grow and bloom. And this is the key of fighting these gang stalkers, fighting this evil that is in the world, in the air, you know, because it's going to get a lot tougher. And I believe this is a test, a test for you to exercise the authority that Christ gave you after he came here as an example. These are the things you can do with the Holy Spirit. So, read the Word of God, put Him first, and you're going to see the power, the real power of Christ and the authority that we have been given, okay? Don't be afraid. Don't fear. 
Be a lion. Be out there. Yes. Because it's easy to fear when you have, you know, 10 to 1. You have these cars driving around and they're stalking you and they're stopping in front of your house. They're trying to intimidate you. You have these big, huge men walking by you. You know, rebuke it in the name of Yeshua Christ. Rebuke it. Bind it. Cast it out. Get your house clean. Get this evil, the spirits that may have been in your house before, get it out. If there's anything that is negative in your house, get it out. This is where your refuge should be, not where the evil is coming in. Get that power. All right. You can do it. I'm giving you what you need. Okay? Now it's up to you. All right.